All right, so good morning. Today, if you guys have some light weights, I'm gonna be using some threes and fives. You don't need any more than that. If you have ones, twos, that's great also. If you have a mini band, I think I forgot to tell you to grab a mini band, but if you have one, grab that. You don't have to use it. You can just use your own body weight, but the mini band will give you a little bit more. And I believe we may use a playground ball or a cushion, but I'm not hundred percent sure on that. So have it available. Just always, whenever you do this class, have everything available. Cause I never know what I'm doing as you guys all know very well. All right. I have ideas. I do always have ideas, but I get carried away as you know. All right, let's get going. Hopefully you have some good music. And let's take a big inhale all the way up and pull those arms back and down. Feel that tension. Let's do it one more time. Nice and slow. Inhale all the way up and pull down. It's so good to see you guys and squeeze up. I hope everybody had a great, great weekend getting ready for the holidays or maybe your holidays are over with Hanukkah. I think the last day was a couple days ago. Pull those shoulders down, keep the belly button engaged toward the spine, really pull up with those quadriceps, feeling it in the glutes, taking it out of the knees and squeeze, squeeze, exhale. Good, four, three, two, and one, pull it opposite. Opposite elbow to knee, twist. Keep your body nice and upright. You're bringing the leg up to the elbow, keeping the chest nice and high. Good. Send me some requests for Thursday. We will be doing the Nutcracker. I'll ask you guys, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you wanna do it today. If everybody can take a little pause, thumbs up for Nutcracker or down today. Up, up, okay, good, keep going. Four. Susan's like, what? I don't know Nutcracker. Two. And one, feet hip width apart, push back. Forward, body weight, squat, push. Good, so your back, squeeze. Good, inhale, exhale. Pulling those knees out to the outside of the foot. Good. Hold this one down, hold it, let's push, push. Beautiful. Four, three, roll those shoulders back and down, belly button tucked nice and in. And we're gonna tap, just side to side. Keep that word on the top of your head. Side to side, get lower. It's a slide, not an up and down, good. Can we get one inch lower? Feel it in the glutes, feel it in the hip flexors. Good. Hold it in the center, feet a little wider, pick up the left heel, push, push. Yes, loading up this right glute. Push into the back heel, the right heel, or left heel, sorry, is nice and high. Four, three, two, switch sides. Push, really push down. Good, four, Three, two, and one. Heel comes down, big inhale all the way up. Let's bring that left leg way, way back to a back lunge. Front knee over top of the front ankle. We're down, squeeze up. Pull the shoulders down. Sliding down the wall. Back is perpendicular to the ground. Front knee is perpendicular to the ground. Down, four, three, really feel the stretch. Hold this one down, hold it here. Push this left hip forward and pulse. Breathe, four, three, two, hold it down. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. Good, four, three, Little isometric holds in there. One, good, pulse it. Eight, seven, five, three, two, bring that foot in to meet it and switch legs. So right foot way back, down an inch, or sorry, down and up all the way. 
full range to start. Nice and upright. Shoulders down. Gorgeous. Back heel is up, pushing into this front heel. Hold it down. Pulse it. Eight, seven, four, three. Hold it down. Up an inch, down an inch, up and down. Up, teeny tiny. How small can we make it? Up and down. Good. Nice, Linda. And our ghost, Linda. Two. And one, pulse it, eight, seven, squeeze this back booty, three, two, one, bring it in. We're gonna bring the knee, that right knee to the nose and back lunge, same leg, in, in. This is balance and strength, pull. You're really compressing. Exhale on the in, three, Two and one, let's switch. Stay low, lunge, pull, lunge, pull. Engage the core. Four, three, two and one. Body weight squat down, push. Good, working it out. Here's our break. Four, three, two, knee repeaters to the left. Pull that right foot in. You can take this up, adding a hop. That's some crazy hair going. Switch, pull. Pull. Good. Four, two, one. Roll it out. Run. Shoulders back. Get lower. Fast feet. Come to me. Go forward. Four, three. Hello. Hello. Back for four, three, two, and one. Back up to me. Four, two, Smile, back, three, two, hold it here. Little jumps, four, stay with that body weight squat. Land toe ball heel softly, toe ball heel, toe ball heel. Push those heels in, four, three, and one, good, push it up. Knee raise, if you wanna take it higher, high knees. Squeeze, squeeze. Good, let's take it down to a squat, glute kick, down, switch, or high butt kickers. Good, engage the core. Eight, seven, breathe, three options. And one, good, let's push it out. Heel digs to the front. Bring that heart rate down. I know mine got up. Four, three, and one. Out to the side, hold. In, point the toes. Push through the quicksand with the arms. Shoulders are low, push. Push, back to the hands, you're going out to the walls. Last one right here. Push it back, push hold. Push that heel down into the ground. Front knees bent. Feeling that calf stretch. Hold that there. And switch, bring one foot into it and switch. Really feel that calf open up. Let's do some core work. We'll do some planking right now. Anybody that's doing the challenge. Susan, I think I need to add you to that. Bring it in, bend the knees right underneath the hips, big inhale all the way up. 
we're going to interlace the fingers except for the pointer finger. I don't know if you guys can see this, like you're shooting a gun. We're going to hinge forward, pull the shoulders down, palms are trying to touch each other, tuck the glutes under, and scoop all the way down. You can soften those knees. When you get here, walk out to the front of your mat. I'll back to back up. Good. Come into a high plank. Look at yourself in the camera. Make sure you have an elbow or wrist right underneath the shoulder. Elbows are right in the middle. Bring the belly button up to tuck. We I have my handy dandy little counter here. We're going to do plank jacks. If this is ever too much, low plank's harder, but just hold the low plank, pulling those shoulders down. We are going to try plank jacking with some shoulder taps for 30 seconds. Let's go. Out, out. So it looks like this. Out, tap, tap. 30 seconds. Uh. Keep on going. 10 more seconds. We're going to grab weights and stand up as soon as you're we're done with this. Grab some heavier weights to start. And one. Come on up. Grab those weights quickly. Punch it out. Wide second position. Punch. And go. Use that core. Slight twist in the core, but try to keep the lower body pretty still. Shoulders low. Elbows in line with the hands. 15 seconds. Three sets of these today, ladies. Get low in those legs. Squeeze the glutes. Get ready to jump back down for high plank jacks. Go. Have those weights ready to go. We're here, go. Add the ah, arm shoulder tap if you can. Eight more seconds. Good, come on, grab those weights. Pop them back up, 30 second punches. Come on, we're losing time. 20 left. Switch weights when you need to. One more set after this is all in the challenge. We're asking for five. 10 more. I'm getting tired. Four, three, pop on back down. Gently pop down. Ready, high plank, jacks. You need a break. You can step and keep the hands there. Out, out, in, in, halfway through. You're gonna switch. So if you're tapping, switch now. You can just do plank jacks. You can hold it and just do shoulder taps. Five more seconds. And one more punch, let's go. Grab those weights. We can do it 30 seconds, we're done with this. Should we get that heart rate up a little bit? 15, we're done. The weights are too much, put them down. Stay with the movement. If you can quickly switch weights, you can. We only have five seconds left. We can do anything for five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, my heart rate got up. Let's jog it out. Just shake it all. Grab a Kleenex if you want. Let the shoulders go. That was good. We're gonna come on back down for some more plank work. And then we'll pop up. Pops in my repertoire today, I don't know why. All right, we're gonna hold it pretty still. If you have a sturdy surface, you can use it, but have room side to side. All we're gonna do, I'm gonna hold my arms up, is I'm going to, we're gonna cross the knee. This is just to open up the hips. So I want the toes pointing to, if you're using your left leg, your toes are gonna to point to the right, and then your toes are gonna to be pointing up to the sky. So the toes are always out. 
Just warming up the hip flexors. Feel that nice hip flexor movement. Soften the right leg. If that's your standing leg, open and close. I don't know if it helps if I come. So it's just a little pendulum like a clock, but it's just at the bottom. It's like a, what's the piano thing? Uh, something with meter. Uh, help! And let's switch sides. Now is when I wish I had my microphone on for you guys. Oh, I'm gonna come over here in. Oh, that feels good, right? Four, three, two, and one. Good. Two big shoulder rolls to the back. Let's come on back down to the mat. Do some plank work. We're going to start in low plank. Hopefully everybody can see me. I think so. Low plank right here. So tuck those hips under. Feet are maybe about hip width apart. Could be a little more narrow. I want you to bring the belly button up to the spine. Your head is in alignment. So you don't want to look down. You don't want to look up. So you're really, your eye gaze is about at your fingertips. Maybe your thumbs, if your elbows are underneath the shoulders. From here, we're going to try something a little harder. So option is, Popping up, up, down, down. Hands stay where they are. You're pushing into the hands for a little tricep push up. We're going to alternate up, up, down, down, switch, up, or hold that low plank. Up, up, down, and keep going. Try after this one. Hold your low plank. Push into both hands. Let's try to push up with both hands. Ready? Up for two, down for two. Engage the core, down for two. I'm sliding a little. Up for two. Pull the shoulders away from the ears. Up and down. Hold it here. Push back into the heels. Back, back and forward. Back. Engage that core. Four, three, two, one. Good. We're going to come over onto side plank. I don't care which arm, but face me. Shoulders pulling down. You can stack the legs. Feel free to drop the bottom one if you want to, but try to challenge yourself always. Hips up, up to the ceiling, up, up. Three, two, hold it here. Thread the needle, top arm, underneath, for two, and up, for two, down, for two, up, for two, down, inhale, exhale, hold this one up here, eight pulses, eight, seven, five, four, three, two, come back to your hover, low plank, I'm just going to turn around so that I can see you guys. Hold that low plank. We're good. We're good. Push back into the heels for eight, seven. Squeeze those glutes. Four, two, one. Turn that bottom forearm toward me. Reach up to the ceiling. And we're going to pulse it up. Really feeling the hips. Don't drop the hips. You want to keep them high. Go up an inch from there. Four, three, Two, pull away from the ears. Hold that arm up. Thread the needle. Under for two. Up for two. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Just saying, Adam Sandler's Hanukkah song is on. You know how happy that makes me. I love this song. Under and up. Last one. Under. Hold this one up here. Eight pulses. Eight, seven. Five, three, two, one. Back to low plank hover. Let's drop the knees, open them up so that you're in a nice child's pose and sit back. Good plank series there, ladies. 
Opening the knees up so you have a little bit more room. If it's bothersome on those knees, you're gonna do more of a dolphin where your hips are up higher. Find where you need to be. All right, come on up. We're gonna articulate that lower lumbar cat cow for just a couple breaths. So you're gonna exhale all that air and inhale. Exhale and inhale. Exhale. Last one. Follow your own breath, please. Forgot to tell you that. And exhale. Come back to neutral. Tuck those toes under. Hands underneath the shoulders. Hips come up to the sky. Push back into those heels. Downward dog. Really push. And bend the knees, either float or step those feet to the hands. Grab those elbows, rock side to side. Keeping the knees soft. Roll up one vertebrae at a time. Big inhale up. When you get there, take your time. You guys will catch up and pull on down. Let's go ahead and grab some light weights. All right, we're gonna start in a first position today. So your heels, everybody roll your shoulders back and down. Nice big back and down, come into a first position. Your heels are gonna to be together. The toes are open, but you're opening from the hips, not from the knees and not from the toes. So wherever your hips take you, your knees and feet follow. So roll those shoulders one more time. Good, so we're gonna start with our weights right at our shoulders. And we're gonna push it up. We're gonna demi plie, bring those shoulder or uh, hands to the shoulders again. And then we're gonna do a little tricep kickback. So it looks like one, two, three, four. One, we can keep adding a little demi plies. Actually, I like that. Here, up, shoulders down. Shoulders up, shoulders down down. Really feel that nice tricep kick back. Getting the heart rate up just a little bit with all the movement. And up, pull, push. Here, up. Good. Shoulders, ceiling. Shoulders, back. Shoulders, ceiling. Shoulders, back. Good. Hold this back. Hold it, hold it here. So we're in a demi plie. Palms are facing each other. Head, your eye gaze is just maybe six feet, five feet in front of your feet. We're gonna pulse it up, up, up. Palms facing with a little squeeze in those glutes. Up, try to get the palms a little bit higher. Yeah, make it smaller if you can. Only an inch, see if we can make it an inch. Oh yeah, nice Susan. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, hold it up high. Palms turn to face the ceiling. Demi plie deeply, pulse it up. Seven, six, five, a little slow. Pulse hold, pulse hold. Three, two, and one hold here. If the weights get to be too much, just put them down because the movement alone with body weight is a lot. We're gonna circle and circle and circle and circle. Let's go the other way. Circle and circle, circle, circle. Good, pulse it up for eight, seven, five, four. Beautiful, Linda, nice job. And one, squeeze it, eight, seven. Squeeze the palms together. Three, two, up for four, four. Three, two, one, squeeze, four. Three, really squeeze, feel that resistance. Up, two, and in for two. Up for two, in for two. Up for two, in for two. Up for two. In for two, single it out. So it's up, squeeze, 
up, squeeze, up, squeeze, up. Four more, four. Neck is in alignment with the spine. Three, oh, I counted wrong there. And one, eight pulses up, eight, seven, make it small. Four, three, two, and one. Quick shake break. We need to grab a Kleenex. Put your waist down for just one second. Tricep dips, either on the floor or on a ledge on your chair, whatever you have. Chair is the best or a ledge, but floor is great. I'm gonna do it on the floor today. For those of you that don't have something. So fingertips are gonna to face toward those heels. We're gonna roll the shoulders back and down, pick the hips up. What we don't wanna see is just hip drops. See my arms aren't moving. Try not to move the hips without the arms. So the, it's all initiated from the elbows, pointing to the back, squeeze those shoulder blades with your arms. Down for two, bending at the elbows, and down for two, up for two, down. The more you try to squeeze those elbows together, the better off it is. And up for two, good. Nice, Linda. Up, good, Allison. Down for two, I've lost everybody else. They're hiding on me. And up for two, down for two. Single this out, so it's down and up, down, squeeze, down, you should be shaky. Hold it down for eight, pulse, six, five, four, two, one, hold it, hold it here, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up, hold it here, pulse it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, mama. Shake that out. Oh, should feel a little jello-like, I think. Let's take your left arm up. Put that hand down toward the back and lean over if you like, or just stay upright. Oh, that was good. I like that one. Wasn't that different? What was different about it? Reach up and switch arms. If you have a band, not a booty band, but a stretchy band for this one. If you have a booty band, it's okay. You might, you can probably put it up above the knees. But if you have a stretchy band, a rubber one, we're gonna go ahead and put this right around above the ankles. So I just have this black one today. And a hairball. All right, we are gonna grab heavy weights. If you have threes, fives, eights, anything is fine. All right, let's turn my music down. Well, actually, I don't think you guys can hear that. All right, so we're gonna start in a wide stance. So your feet are gonna actually point to me today. So parallel feet. Your weights are just gonna start at your chest. If it's more comfortable, you can gently place them on the shoulders and just hold on to them. So we're just adding a little bit of resistance with the weights right now. We're gonna drop on down into our squat. So belly button is in, trying to get nice and low. Let's just start with a full squat. Down, trying to get the booty at 90 degrees. My rule of thumb is trying to get those elbows to touch the quads while keeping the chest up. Down and down, good. Down. Hold this one down right here. Hold it, tuck that belly button in. From here, we're gonna go out with the left, out with the right, in with the left, in with the right, and then out with the knees for two. So let's do that one again, out with the right, out with the left, in, in, knees, knees. Let's go the other way. Right, left, right, left, knees, knees, left, right, let's speed it up. And knees, switch out, out, in, in, knees. Can we get one inch lower? Out, out, in, in, Knees. Now, when you come in, it's just that regular stance right underneath the shoulders. Not too narrow. It's wide, wide shoulders 
shoulders out, out, switch, out, in, get one inch lower, out, out, switch, out, out, in, in, knees, out, switch, a little quicker, in, in, knees, knees, out, out, in, in, knees, knees, switch, out, out, in, in, knees, Ooh. out, and out, out, in, in, knees, hold it here, push, down, you should be feeling those glutes. Yes. Eight, get a little lower, wiggle the toes. Four, three, two, big single body weight squats. Down, Woo. down, oh, that feels good. Hips back, push forward. Exhale, exhale on the up, exhale. Let's hold it down again. Push those knees to the outside, hold them there. Push, push, good. Eight, seven, make it smaller. Four, really push. Two, one, squeeze to come up. You can leave that band there. Put your weights down. Do you guys feel that in the booty? No, no thumbs up. Okay, no, is that, oh, <laughs> do you feel it in the booty? Yep, yeah, okay. So let's, we're gonna put the band, let me just fix my camera a little bit. The one, the band is gonna go around your left instep and your right ankle. Same band, you might have to, when I just rolled mine, it got all messed up. We're gonna have our sturdy surface. Initially, we're gonna start with this left knee behind the right knee. With a back bent leg, your right knee is slightly bent, nice little demi plie in it. Try to stay pretty upright. If the band gets to be too much, grab your ball. You can do the same thing with the ball. So either one, from here, nice and upright, tuck those hips forward, squeeze those glutes, push the heel back, 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 back. Does everybody have a band? Give me a thumbs up because I can't see everybody's feet. Everybody have a band? Yes, Allie, no, okay. You have your ball, I can't see if you have a ball there. It's kind of dark, okay. This is probably better anyway, Allie, with your knee. All right, keep going. I love this one. Don't you already feel it? In those hamstrings, inner thigh a little bit, booty a little bit, back. Let's control the in. Don't let that tension go on the in. If you want to level up, come up on the heels, I mean on the toes, on the right. Four, three, two, one. Straighten that back leg. We can come into a turnout now and we're gonna lift, lift. So toes are pointing to either side. Make sure that standing knee is right over the foot. Flex the back leg, pulse, 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 little pulses, four, three, two, one. Let's, now we're gonna bring the knee in, push it back, knee to the elbow almost, push it back, in, Push it back, you should feel this in the standing leg. So really get nice and deep in that standing leg and you'll feel that isometric hold in, that, in the uh, non-working leg that's working more. Tricked ya. Three, two, whew, hold it back, pulse it up, up, up. You have to really engage that core, keep the upper body still, three, to hold it up, let's circle with the heel. Circle with the heel. Circle, circle, let's go the other way. Four, keep that tension on the band. Three, two, one. Come up on the toes if you are not already on the right side. We're gonna bend, straighten, oh, down. And up in the standing leg, down an inch, up an inch. That right leg is shaking in that down. Holding the left leg back, hold it down. Let's push it eight, seven, six, four, three, two, and one. 
Hopefully you felt that, I did. Let's switch. So around the ankle on the left and right on that instep or the heel on the right foot. We're starting with that parallel, getting it back demi plie, this front leg. We're gonna have, bring the foot in, push it back, in, push it back, in, back, in. Immediately my hamstring is activated. In, back, in, feet are parallel for now. Bend, straighten, in, straighten. Keep any attention on that band. Four, nice, Joe. Three, little upright body. Try not to lean forward so much because you'll actually, I want you to play with that. Feel how much you lose it when you lean forward. Two, one, hold it back, pulse it up, up. Soften the standing leg. There's a slight hinge forward, but not much. Eight, seven, five, four, three, oops, two, hold that up, let's turn it out. And we're gonna bend the knee, straighten. Bend, push it back. In, push it back. Soften the standing leg. In, push it back. Should feel this in the booty. Little hamstring. Three, two, and one, hold it back, pulse it up to the diagonal. Up, up, beautiful. Good, Susan. Four, three, hold in here, little circles with the heel around. Get a little lower on the standing leg. Make it scream. Say, I'm gonna be ready to go skiing tomorrow. Maybe not today. Go the other way, four, three, or another 1,500 miles for Jill. It's incredible. Can't wait to hear what your New Year's resolution is gonna be for next year, your goal. Pulse it off for eight, seven, six. Feel that tension. There's a slight pause at the top. Three, two, hold it up. Down an inch, up an inch in the standing leg. Down, squeeze, feel that booty. It's tiny, should be shaking. Four, yes, Susan. I see it shaping. Two, and one, push it down for eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. Oh, this is a one class. It's okay to touch yourself. So rub out that booty if you need to. You can kind of punch it out, feel that fascia release in there. Feels good, right? Really quick, let's take your left leg behind your right leg. The left arm is just gonna reach over for a quick stretch. All right, let's switch legs. Oh, that feels good. After this, we're gonna take a quick figure four, move on to some more stuff. We're gonna place that band back around the ankles, just where it was. Not yet, let's do one more stretch. So figure four, just open up that glute. And feel free to do this on a chair. And switch. Sorry, we're not holding these that long. Oh my goodness. I was sore from yesterday. Four, three. We're gonna grab our heavy weights as well. So put that band back above the ankles. Grab heavy weights. You can have eights here if you want. We're gonna work back a little bit. Big muscles, except I lost a weight. And I don't know how I'm gonna get it up. Oh, okay, I can do this. It fell between my mattress and my footboard. Okay, got it. Try to flatten out those bands. <sighs> okay, we are going to do back lift to a bicep raise. So put that band just above the ankles, widen the feet right underneath those shoulders or wherever you feel the tension. It can be a little bit wider today if you want. Roll those shoulders depending on that band strength. We're gonna have those palms facing our quads. So palms facing to the back, 
Soften the knees, tuck those hips under. We're gonna slide the weights to just about knee height and squeeze to come up. I want you to feel this in the back side. Feel it in the back. Let's just do this again. Just plain old deadlift. And down for two and up for two. We're gonna add a bicep curl. So we're gonna come down for two, turn those palms to face out, and then we're gonna come up with the knees bent. And we're gonna turn it back down and bicep. So it's not really a deadlift anymore. It's a hinge forward and a bicep. Let's go a little bit quicker. Hinge, bicep. Hinge, use the core, tuck the hips under. Feel the booty stabilizing. And up, hold this one up. We're gonna hold both weights out. And we're gonna pulse up with just the left hand. Up, up. You can add a little up and down in the legs if you want to. Eight, seven, six, four, and switch. Up, isometric hold with the left. The right hand is doing a lot of the work. Engage the core. Four, three, two, both at the same time. Up, up, low shoulders, long neck. Four, three, two, one. We're gonna come down. I don't want you to touch those legs. And we're gonna come halfway up for three, two, one, pulses. All the way down, but don't touch the legs. Three, two, one. All the way down and up. Two, one. Don't touch the thighs. Up. Keep going. Down. Three, two, one, one. Three, two, one. Tiny little bicep pulls. Don't touch those legs. And down. Three, two, one. Good. From here, we're gonna come down all the way up. We're gonna turn the palms. Let me show you this a little bit closer. So the palms are gonna face backwards and then they're gonna come up. So we're turning the rotator cuffs. So it's out to the diagonal and up. Working a little bit more range. Here's from the side. Tuck those glutes under, out, in, out, and out. Three, two, we're changing stuff up all the time today. All right, now from here, we're gonna come back, upright, back, overhead press. Elbows, we sort of did these a little earlier. Let's get them going. We're gonna to switch to lighter weights in a second. So let's get this burned out. Hinge, straight up. To keep that tucked belly and glutes, pelvis. Four, three, two, one. Hold it upright. Open up those palms, we're down. Squeeze, overhead press. Palms face me. Down. Good, down, squeeze. Eight, try to stop at 90 degrees with those elbows. Three, two, hold that goal post arm. In, open, in. Good, only five more, five, four, feel the strength, two, we have heavier weights, hold it together, pulse it up, six, five, nice and high, make it smaller, four, three, two, one, bring it down, elbows, hands out and in, elbows are high, let's come upright, sorry, I was hinged forward a little bit, out, in, out, in, out, resist. Out, resist the in. Ah, breathe. Elbows are high. Try to not move the upper arm. The only thing moving is from the elbow down. Four, three. Barbells to right underneath the chest. Hold it out, push it out. Out, out, 
out, low shoulders. Four, three, two, one. Oh, switch weights for me. We have a lot of strength today. All right, working shoulders in balance. We still have that band around our, just above the ankles. Let's pick up the left foot. We're gonna drop on down into the right, tuck the hips under. You always have the option of putting your foot down on the ground if you need to, but we're gonna try to work balance as well as our shoulders. So let's drop on down. Just keep this leg raised, it's gonna stay static. From here, let's get those arms up to start. Circle, if you wanna add the up and down in the leg to level up just a little bit, starting immediately with circles. Four, if you need to, get rid of the weights and still do the movements. Go the other way, eight, seven, six, light weights, one-legged, two, one, palms face up, up, pulse up, up, good up. Really focus on a point to stare at. You can focus at my face if you want. I'll make funny ones. Four, three, two, palms face down. Push, push, push. Good. Widen the toes on the ground. Four, three, two, one. Palms face up. We're gonna drop the elbows behind with that leg, squeeze up. Bend the knee, out to the diagonal, serve up your tray, bend. Your leg should be tired. Down and out. In, squeeze our shoulder blades, hold it in. Oh, I lost my balance, pull it in. In and pulse with that leg, eight, seven, six, Four, three, two, one. Did you guys feel that in the standing leg? Yeah, okay. We have another side. So weight on the left leg. Just pick that quad up on the right side. Bend deeply into that left leg. Palms are gonna face the front. Front raise. So we're up for two. Resist, down for two. Up for two. You can bend the knee and straighten it. So straighten the leg, not to hyper, just almost all the way up. Down for two. Good balance work. Balance is one of the first things to go when we get a little older. Got to keep working on it. Up for two, it's so important. Up for two, I used to do a lot. I had failed you guys. Up for two, down. Hold this one up. Let's demi plie, pass it up and up with the arms and the glute. Try to be nice and upright with that body. Feel like you're sliding down a wall behind you. Eight, seven, five, four, three, two. Back to goal post, post arms. So it might be hard on one leg. We're gonna scarecrow down, up, hinging right around the elbow, exhale, inhale. Try not to let it drop. Look in those rotator cuffs. Good, eight, seven, keep the elbows high. Anybody still on one leg? Everybody, two, one, hold it here. Let's out, out, out. Eight, seven, five. So the elbows are just raising and lowering just a little bit. Three, two, one, arms out. Circle for eight more, forward for four. Three, two, one, back the other way. I'm going fast, because I can't do it anymore. Two, and one, beautiful job. Let's get rid of those. Oh my goodness, how are we on time? Not so good. Let's get rid of the band for a second. Let's do some plie work. So let's come into first position. You don't need bands, you don't need weights. Just your beautiful selves. Fix my, can't get my camera right today. 
All right. Ooh. All right, well, let's just start with little demi plie squeeze to come up. So your knees are tracking right over your feet. Let's just warm these legs back up again. Whoops, I'm trying to find our song. And up, hold this one down, tuck the hips under. Pulse, 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 pulse. Okay, let's get this going. All right, arms come up. Eight, seven, six. Make it really push into the ground like you're trying to melt. Three, two, widen it to a second position. Come out, down, down, down. So you're nice and wide in the hips. Hip flexors are nice and open. Pelvic floor is trying to reach to the ground. Let's make it small. How small can we make it? Down, down, down hold, down hold. Let's pick up the left heel and down and down. Feeling the openness from the hips, knees and feet. Again, just follow along. Squeeze, you should be feeling some nice shaking in this right glute when you go down. Three, two, let's switch heels. Push, push, push. The slower, the more deliberate, the more you're gonna feel it, the more upright you are. So this is not really our squat. We wanna be nice and upright with that body. Good. Four, three, two, and one. Heel comes down, squeeze to come up. Heel toe your feet in. We are ready for some Russian tea dance. So we're gonna start in the first position. Demi plie, we're gonna bring, we'll start with the left toes in toward at the right uh, shin. All it is is a straighten and a bend. So today I want you to work a little bit more on the finer points, staying low. This standing leg is so still, it never moves. Your working leg, try to keep this top part of the leg really, really still. See how it's not moving. We're out and in, we do some circles, we do some pulses. It's the only time in the circles and the pulses that your upper leg's gonna move. I'll give you the cues and it up and see what happens. Ready? Oh. So our first move is going to be out and in and out and in. Ready? Let's out. In. Out, in, out, in. Stay low. Out, hold. In. I'm going to turn it up with a hack. Out, in, out, in. Hold out. Hold in. Out. Stay low in this. Right leg, hold out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in, hold it out, circle, circle, out to the diagonal, go the other way, four, three, two, pulse it up, right here, up, keep the turn out, the heels facing the ceiling, and in, out, get low, in, out, in, out, in. Hold it. Hold it up. In, out, in, out, in, out. Keep going to the end. Keep going. Ta da! Woohoo! All right, quickly switch. Ready for the other side, so give it a little shake. First position, demi plie, the right toes right at the right shin. Are we ready? And go. In, out, in, out, in, out. Hold up. We do it with no hands. I see Allison doing it no hands. Hold up. Extend that fire. Fire, fire. Hold up. And in, feel that thigh. Out, in, out, in. Squeeze the glutes. Hold this one out. Circle, circle, circle. Circle, let's go the other way. Four, three, bend deeply. Get ready for pulses. Up, up, up. Toes pointing out to the diagonal. Get ready for in, in, out. In, out, in, out. Hold it in, out. In, out, in, out. Woo. 
Keep going. And finish. Bravo. With, let's do our curtsies. Ready? Thank you. Other side. Thank you. One more. Because we still have flowers getting thrown at us. And thank you. All right, good job, you guys. Let's come down to the floor. We are, I think, running out of time, aren't we? Yes, we did start a couple minutes late because I had a lot to talk about. Come down to the floor. Thursday, if you guys want to wear red, anything Santa, bring it. Uh, let's grab your ball. Oh, there was one thing I wanted to do up on the top, but that's okay. We'll do that Thursday. All right. Do I have music? Sort of. What today? We're gonna start with. Whoops, that's too loud. All right, let's start with our butterfly legs today. Yeah. They are not going to let me post this one today, are they? All right, so feet are together wide in the sits bones. Just have your ball available, but we aren't going to use it right away. Oh, it's still too loud. Okay, arms are going to come up. I want you to roll one vertebrae at a time. All the way down and extend, just feel this expansion of the inner thighs. You can grab your left or your right wrist and hinge over to the left. This is just a quick love and then we're gonna get into the step and switch the other way. Good, from here, bring those arms down toward the center of your body, toward your heels. We're gonna peel the head up to right about where your shoulders, everything is pretty much off of the ground. From here, we're gonna come down an inch, up an inch. If you want, you can put a ball back there today, but let's try it without. Down, squeeze up, trying to get these legs still firing. So feeling the tension because we're in a nice little butterfly and up. You have a nice plum for the sugar plum fairies. They, the fairy just flew by and put a plum right underneath your chin. Don't squish it, it's super special. Must have some fairy dust on it to make us even stronger. Down an inch, down an inch. Good, hold this one back. Bring those legs back up together. We're gonna hold our fist right at our chest. Now we're gonna come up and down. If you want to just to gently touch your head, you can. It is actually a little bit harder. If you want to bring the arms up overhead, that's even harder. So it's a hinge back and a hinge forward. I personally, with this, like my hands right at my chest, just making little fists. Four, three, two, it's teeny tiny today. More like a Pilates ab work. Hold this one down. We're gonna turn over, let's go, everybody go over to the right. And now I want you to foam roll your body out. You're gonna hold this position, but you're gonna foam roll it out. Almost like we're rowing, but you're holding in this low position, isometric hold. Four, you should be shaking. Three, two, and one. Come back up, we're gonna twist, twist. You're one piece, so let's not have these arms moving. They're touching the chest. Twist, twist, exhale on the twist. Eight, seven, can we go back? One centimeter more. It makes it hard to talk, let me tell you. Three, two, one, back to the center. Up an inch, down an inch. If it gets to be too much, grab behind those hamstrings and help yourself up a little bit. And then come back to it. Up an inch, down an inch. Breathe, teeny tiny. You should be feeling this everywhere in the core from above the knees to just below or above the rib cage. Shh. Linda, you feeling this in the entire core? Good. 
Good. And let's turn, let's foam roll it out. Isometric hold and row. Oh, dear goodness. And row. So slide down the body and come back up. Slide down. We're gonna feel this tomorrow. Slide down, try to keep the back still. The back is really still. Isometric hold, just moving those hands. Hold it back at the chest, ready for a twist. Center, twist. Oh, oh I'm shaking. I can't breathe. I can breathe, I can't talk. And twist. Four, three, two, one. Grab behind. Oh my. Allison, what'd you think of that? Was that good? All right, good. Let's roll it down. Feet flat, planted on the floor. Hands behind the head. Lift the shoulders up. We're just going to do little pulses. Let's work more of the center abdominals now. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Let's finish these abs off. Two, and hold it here. Let's twist over to the left and pulse it up. Seven, six. So your left arm, forearm, or top arm, sorry, tricep is on the ground. Three, two, and one. Twist to the center. Eight, pulse. Six, five, four. Don't forget about your fairy plum. Two, one. Twist over to the right. Up, seven, six, tiny. Four, three, two, and one. Back to the center, eight, Seven, five, four. You want a little more? Pick up those legs into tabletop. Two and one. Good. Grab behind those hamstrings. Roll it on down. Oops, sorry. Throw your back down, I meant. And just rock side to side. Whoops. I don't know what Siri just said. Let's. Bring those arms out to the side, tabletop legs, drop the legs over to the left. Look over that right shoulder. Try to drop the shoulders into the ground, feel that relaxation. Feel the hips relaxing. If you want a little more stretch, straighten the top leg. Big breaths, close your eyes. Think of a mantra that you wanna keep with you today. Whether it's maybe stay calm with all the hecticness of the world, stay healthy would be a good one. Give love, give thanks. I can think of a lot of them today. <sighs> Bring those knees back to the center, drop them over to the other side. Look over that left shoulder. Oh, I'm having a hard time relaxing them today. Nice big breaths, inhale and exhale. You guys did great today. Kind of a different class. <sighs> Back to center. Let's extend the right leg down onto the ground. Left leg comes up to the ceiling. It's really straight. Let's get the fire coming out of the toes. Point and flex, point and flex. Back so you can see. And flex, your head is just relaxed. I was just trying to see you guys. Good, point the toe now, and let's, let's circle the foot. You can gently keep bringing that leg closer to your body. Just hold anywhere except for the back of the knee. Go the other way. Good, and let's just compress that hip joint, bringing the leg in and squeezing that hip joint. From here, we're gonna just open up whatever leg you just pulled in and just feel the opening of that hip flexor. So you can support it with that outside hand. Good, bring it back in, extend the other leg up to the ceiling. And we're gonna point and flex, point. Good. The stretching, you guys, is so important. I'm so glad to see you guys all staying. This is, to me and to most fitness professionals, the most important part of the class. Circle the foot. 
Remember to keep pulling back on that leg, not on the knee, but maybe hamstring, calf. Let's circle the other way. Good, let's compress that hip socket. It should feel really good. You can also just move it around too if you want, if you want to feel a little lubrication in there. And let's open it up, supporting it with that outside hand, keeping both hips on the ground. All right, from here, let's take this outside arm and roll it around. We're going to have two 90 degree legs. So back leg is 90 degrees, front leg is 90 degrees, and come on down. Feel that glute stretch if you want to come into your, um, what I can't think of the name of this, the name of this is. You can, but today I was thinking we've come into more of a bent knee. Good, come back on up. That same leg that's in front, let's put it in front. I'm gonna have to pick you back up. Good and really push open, reach forward. Nice. Pull back. Feel the back of the leg. You can flex that foot. See if you feel a little bit more. Play with that. Good, let's just switch legs. So come back to 90 degree in the front, 90 degree in the back, hinging forward, take your time. Ooh, feeling that inner thigh on this one. I think it is gonna be a foam roll day for me. Come on back up, let's go ahead, place that front leg in front, hinge forward. Feel that nice big stretch. And pull back. Ooh, we really went over with the stretching, but it's so important. Point the toes if you like, flex the foot if you want, whatever feels good. Good. Let's Place both feet underneath the shoulders or hips. Just drop the head heavy, roll up one vertebrae at a time. I think I'm gonna have to switch again. Big inhale all the way up to the sky, to your ceiling, pull on down. Let's interlace the hands behind, push open. Push those hips forward. Release that, open them up back up again. Give yourself a giant squeeze, pull those shoulders down. Look at your arms, see which one's on top. Big inhale up, pull it down again. Give yourself a big squeeze, but switch those arms. Release the arms, two shoulder rolls back and give yourselves a giant hand. Thank you so, so much for the time today. You guys are great.